Hitman. Hey guys, I'm Nick Meister, and welcome back to Let's Play Hitman Absolution. This is week two of Contracts Mode, and we're going to be starting our competitions real soon, so make sure to friend me on Steam, Victory by Suicide. I, uh, found a couple of interesting contracts that I'd like to show you, and by the time I post this, I promise I'll have my own contracts, uh, well, maybe just one contract, for you guys to play and compete for the highest score. Let's see. I did have them queued up, but, uh, there we go. This is one. But that's a harder one. We're gonna go over here to this one right here. I thought it was kind of clever. So this one's called Snipe But Don't Snipe. And here is the background. A contract has been issued on Mickey Caps, Lee Wei, and David S. Thompson. They are a trio of hired killers contracted to murder the King of Chinatown. The King wants you to get them first. This isn't really a sniper mission, but the client wants them killed with a sniper rifle. Do not be seen, do not be heard by anyone but your victims. Good hunting, 47. I like I like nice copy. You know, I, I like a nice little intro here by Sitch. So good job, Sitch. Good good job on the writing. Here are our targets. And we won't be changing outfits. We gotta hide all the bodies. Can't miss any shots. Can't be spotted. Kind of a tall order. Until you know what to do, of course. So here is the agency Kazo TRG and what you really need to do is you need to add a silencer I got level 2 here can't afford level 3 yet and I did put an extended clip on the gun even though it's kinda pointless when you think about it I'm not gonna be having a firefight here I'm just gonna be shooting three targets so uh, let's let's get started Snipe, but don't snipe. Alright, let's get started. So, uh... One thing you gotta keep in mind is that... Your score won't start dropping down until you kill your first target. And, uh... Alright, so... The trick to... Killing Mickey Caps without being seen... Is firing from this position right here. And smile. There we go. Now, no one saw what we did, except for this one lady right over here. Her name's Lee Wei. She's going upstairs to check on her partner in crime. Because, you know, they're all assassins. <laughs> Mr. Mickey Caps dropped his gun down there. Pick up this bottle. And uh, she's going to go upstairs to check on her partner in crime, but... I'm not going to let her get that far. There we go. And, uh... I'm going to hide her body in here really quick because we don't want David S. Thompson to see her body. There we go. Now we take out our bottle. Bottles are a very valuable commodity in Hitman Absolution, by the way. You'll be using them a lot to sneak around in contracts mode. Ha, your turn. Yeah, I heard it too. Right over there. Now we want to be careful to stay away from where the sound came from because that can actually get us spotted. Meaning that if the person who uh, you know, saw you say uh, throw a bottle or do something strange they'll yell at you for it. Uh, you won't get shot at, but you will lose points. And that will... <laughs> His mouth is just wide open there, isn't it? There you go. <laughs> oh, he, he... Doesn't look too comfortable. And, uh... Here's Mr. Mickey Caps. Our doppelganger. Let's stick him in here. There we go. 
And our job here is finished. All we have to do now is leave. So we can start running now. We won't get in trouble for, for running. In a hurry, huh? Of course, we'll get yelled at by the cops, but hey, whatever. And where do we go after we just murder three people? Well, we stay in the neighborhood. We just enter the small building here. <laughs> there we go. And... Hey, I earned 294 additional points, so slightly better than the last time I played that contract. Pretty sweet. And uh, here's all my points. Awesome. So, now we're going to play a much more difficult contract I found. Uh, let's look in history. Um, hmm. There we go. And uh, the name of this uh, contract is called Chop Suey. And it's, it's got a funny description. Your fledgling Chinese food enterprise can't start making the big money until you take out the competition. You must eliminate the following. Chan Su, Wu Bi, and Ai Jin. Their mastery over egg noodles and Peking duck will not save them from their fate. Good luck, 47. Which, incidentally, is the beef and the black bean sauce off your own menu. <laughs> Clever joke. So, uh, all these people must be killed with knives. We don't have to hide the bodies, but we can't be spotted. Now, it's important to keep in mind that if you sneak up behind them and slit their throats with a knife, you will be spotted automatically. I don't know why that is. So that means that you have to throw the knives. Um, and it gets pretty tricky because you got to stand in the exact right spot to pull that off. So, <clears throat> now we want to make sure we don't get ratted out by any of these vendors here because if they get a close look at us, they'll realize we're not the genuine article and we'll run to the police. I'm not really sure what you tell the police in an incident like that anyway. Uh, there's a whole neighborhood full of vendors, and you think that one of the vendors isn't really a vendor, so you run to the police. I, I don't, I don't get that. But there's lots of vendors around, and we want to make sure they don't see us. So there we go. And another thing to keep in mind is that. People don't mind if you have out a knife, if you're a vendor. You know, if you're a strange bald man in a suit, there we go, and his face is frying on that grill. Isn't that nice? All right, so the next woman we have to kill with a fillet knife. <clears throat> and we gotta head back over here. Gonna push our way through the crowd. There we go. I mean, I was a valet for a while, uh, on the street, you know, for a, for a, a restaurant, and, uh, I saw valets all the time, you know, other valets working for other companies, sometimes working for our own company, and sometimes I didn't know them, I didn't go running to the police, you know, and, oh, shit, we got fucking spotted, <laughs> and, uh, well, there's our last target. Let's get her. Uh, try to get this one before... There we go. Oh, uh-oh. Can I get it out? Can I get out in time? Can I get out in time? Oh, ho, 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 I couldn't. <laughs> and his spine completely evaporates from his body. <clears throat> well, that's the way it goes sometimes. I'm going to try again, and if I'm successful, I'll cut ahead. Stay tuned. Oh, Jesus. Come on. And I got it. Nice. And no one saw me. Awesome. So, uh, there you go. It's really just a matter of standing in the right spot. It's kind of hard to tell whether or not you are, because, like I said before, 
as the vendor, nobody freaks out when they see you holding a big butcher knife. So let's end the contract and see our score. I have not improved my previous score. Well, I did pretty good last time, so can't really be helped, huh? And our fledgling Chinese food business can can step forward. And uh, that's it for Chinatown. I'm going to be making my own contracts. And uh, I hope that you'll join me in the competition. So like I said before, the winner will get like a little sketch by me. And uh, hopefully we can have a lot of fun. So, until next time, I'm Nick Meister, and this is Let's Play Hitman Absolution. I'll see you next time.